And we're back in the loft. We got no cool call. This is red hot. This is lukewarm. I think the condenser fan motor failed. So let's go on the roof and find the outdoor unit. <laughs> So we found our unit, uh, yeah, so it's from 2015, it's a carrier, so let's see what's going on. It should be on right now, but uh, it's possibly if the outdoor fan motor is dead, it's more than possible if the, the uh, compressor had overheated. Ooh, it's hot, I'm in direct sunlight. Yeah, that thing's like 112, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what's up. Alrighty, so I'm checking voltage here. I have 24 volts. It's not making it to the contactor. Contactor is currently open. Um, however, I do notice that there's a fan cycling switch, so it's possible that, that may have failed, which caused the outdoor fan to not run, which caused a high pressure switch situation. Uh, so we need to break up that pressure. Uh, the only way to really do that is to uh, hook up some gauges and equalize between the two. So, first things first, I'm going to kill the power. I'm just going to check the run caps. I'm going to make sure the compressor isn't uh, tripped on thermal. And then uh, we will uh, check to see if this thing is closed or not and go from there. All right, so look at our liquid pressure. It's at 400 PSI. This is supposed to cut in at 400 PSI. So, um, I'm checking continuity and it's open. So, this has probably failed, which is causing the condenser fan to not run. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to make sure that the compressor is not in thermal overload uh, and then we're going to go ahead and hook up the fan directly to the uh, contactor um, and then I'm going to let the fan run and that, uh, that should bring our pressure down a little bit to at least get the high pressure switch to reset. So I'm checking to see if the compressor is on lockout which it totally is so right now the blue is start, the yellow is run, black is common. So start to run, I have continuity. Now if I go start to common, I have an oh well. Man. Which means that thermal overload is tripped. Yeah. Oops. So that's tripped. So another thing we gotta do is if we go to run, you can see that's also open. So our compressor is on thermal overload, so we need to let it cool. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the fan going because uh, there's no water here. Otherwise, I'd be you know, putting water on top of the compressor to speed it up. So that's where we're at. So uh, that will also allow me to see if the outdoor fan motor runs. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the compressor disconnected and just run the fan. Hopefully that will bring our pressures down and reset the trip and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll have to manually push it in and hopefully it'll get the pressure down to where the high pressure switch will reset uh, and it'll also help cool the compressor. Not as good as water but it's better than nothing considering it's in direct sunlight. Anyway, we can get set up for that. Alright, so I'm jumping Y to the contactor. Um, I have the compressor disconnected, fans operating normally, pressures have equalized, so actually I may not need that anymore. Let me go ahead and hook up this wire nut. Alrighty, so pressure switch reset. So we're just waiting for the compressor to cool down. So uh, yeah, so we'll be back once this uh, closes, because right now the compressor is not going to start. All right, she's been running for now and started beeping, so the press was reset. So we're gonna kill power, reconnect, turn it on, make sure it's good. All right, so she's been running for a while. Look at that, it's 100 degrees out here. It's only 10 a.m. Global warming is not a thing. Uh, so yeah, these are our pressures. Super heat's looking good to me. This is a little bit high, target's 14. I would say this unit is probably slightly overcharged. I ended up removing that that uh, unit thing. This guy right here has been removed. Uh, coil is clean, so I think it is slightly overcharged. Uh, so 
we're going to talk to them about that. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, everything seems to be good. Um, run capacitors within spec. All the amp draws are good. That's compressor amp draws. And it's at 18.66. Maximum is 21 point something. So yeah, so we should be good to go. So it should be cooling now. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So uh, keep in mind, it could have been a run capacitor too. Maybe just, just the fan went out. But always check that compressor because the compressor will sometimes go into thermal overload, uh, especially in these hotter temperatures. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you like the tools that I use, go ahead and visit my store and pick up a set for yourself. Thanks for watching.